Hello people of the internet. Um, I'm just making a video today to show you this PlayStation that I've made out of a Raspberry Pi and, uh, well, a PlayStation. Um, basically, it's, it's an emulator that runs on RetroPie, as you can see, um, and it's just off the PlayStation. That's kind of the idea behind it. Uh, it's got memory cards that are USB sticks. Yeah, I'll show you it. So the, the only difference you'll notice externally is on the back. Um, there is a Ethernet port there. There's a 3.5 millimeter uh, audio out, and also an HDMI. Uh, that'll do obviously normal HDMI in and out. There is a 12 volt in as well on the back that runs off a laptop power supply, and hidden away behind the parallel I/O port is a USB port. On the front, it looks exactly the same as a normal PlayStation. Um, the only difference is that the memory card port on the right hand side has got a USB port behind it and the on and off switch and the reset switch no, now don't go to the motherboard underneath like they do on the PlayStation uh, they go to a separate switch and just a, a, a toggle switch for, to perform a reset uh, eject button obviously you can just see inside if you have a quick look inside you can see there's many many USB cables um, you can just about see the Raspberry Pi there. As you can see from the pictures inside, um, there is not a lot of room. Uh, to the top left there is a one terabyte hard drive. Um, and also on the Raspberry Pi itself I've had to solder a couple more pins to form the reset button. One cool feature um, that I've put in is the memory card slots are now USB. So as you can just see there, we need to focus. Basically that's just a PlayStation memory card with a 16 gigabyte USB stick inside it. Um, so on the back of the USB port there is just, sorry, on the back of the memory card port there is just a USB input. So you push the memory card in and that's it, it's just, just a, a memory stick. The other side I did want to do but with the space where the Raspberry Pi was it's just not possible. So what I did for the controllers, um, you can get the pretty cheap, simple USB to PlayStation controller adapter things. Um, I just dismantled one of those and rewired it into the back, um, basically soldered all the pins to the back of the PlayStation ports there, so there was uh, nine pins, you just replace those in there with the ones you get in the controller adapter. And then you can, you can literally just plug them in exactly the same. So as you can see, it's just a retro pi system. I've set it up with, with quite a few emulators on it. Not really taking too much time on the other one yet. Um, ROMs are readily available online from various sources. Um, as you can see there's the PlayStation. A few games already on there, but probably my favourite is Tony Hawk's, even though I'm rubbish at it. Ooh. Ah. So yeah, you get the idea of that's it really. Um, yeah, I hope you like it. I did see, but there's quite a few, well, there's a couple other PlayStation Raspberry Pi things I've seen on the internet, uh, but most of them are not very neat um, and they look a bit shoddy really. Um, so that was why I created it. And um, I don't even really like games to be honest, I just thought I'd go making it. Um, and it's come out quite well. Um, I'm going to hide the the boot 
sequence at the start with all the sort of text that scrambles across the screen. I'm going to hide that to make it look a bit smoother. It could boot a bit faster. I'd like it to boot straight to the video, you know, the, the intro videos you would get on a PlayStation. But it's okay, I like it. It's good. Um, I like that it's got the ability to do Cody as well, which is nice. Um, I'll probably end up using it as a, like a multimedia system thing. Other things I might do to it is I might put in some sort of infrared receiver for a remote, proper remote, I've got on TV. Um, yeah, that's it. Right. Hope you enjoyed it, and um, 